Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library, and it's the beginning of a new season. It's fall, y'all. Fall began this past Wednesday. What's the first sign of fall that you notice? What changes do you see? Maybe you see the leaves changing colors and dropping off or falling off the tree. Hey, I bet that's why we call it fall, because the leaves fall off the tree. But did you ever wonder what helps the leaves to fall off the trees? Well, today I have a story to share with you about a squirrel, this guy right here, who notices the colorful leaves of fall. All of a sudden, he sees that some of the leaves are missing, and he thinks that someone stole them. And he wants to find out who took the leaves off the tree. And the book is called The Leaf Thief. Let's see if we can figure out who took the leaves in The Leaf Thief. The Leaf Thief, written by Alice Hemming and illustrated by Nicola Slater, published by Source Books. What a wonderful time of year. I am snug in my nest with a belly full of hazelnuts and the sun is shining through my leafy canopy. Such lovely colors, red, gold, orange, red, gold, orange, red, gold. Wait a minute, one of my leaves is missing. Where is it? It's not in here, and it's not under here. It's not in here. It's not under here. Bird! What is the matter? Someone stole my leaf. Your leaf? Yes. One of my leaves is missing. My leaf looked a lot like that one. The one mouse has. That is not your leaf, squirrel. But how can you be sure? Mouse? Mouse? Did you steal my leaf? No, this is my boat. See, squirrel? It is perfectly normal to lose a leaf or two at this time of year, okay? <sighs> okay. Thanks, bird. See you tomorrow. The next morning. Oh no! This is bad, bird! What is the matter this time? More leaves have been stolen! Excuse me, Woodpecker, are these my leaves? No, they are my leaves, Squirrel. I spent ages collecting them. No one is taking your leaves, Squirrel. This happened last year, remember? Mm, maybe. Why don't you go back to your nest and try to relax? Okay, thanks, Bird. Try to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Just relax. The following morning. This is a disaster. Bird, bird, where are you, bird? I am here, squirrel. Wait a minute. Are you the leaf thief? No, squirrel, I am not the leaf thief. I will show you the leaf thief. Where are they? Because I've got a few things I'd like to say to them. Look around you. The leaf thief is everywhere. It shakes the trees and rustles the leaves. It even takes your hat. Do you see the leaf thief, squirrel? 
The only thief is the wind. This happens every year in the autumn. Every year. The leaves change colors and the winds blow them away. They'll grow back again in the spring. Now, I'm going home. Please don't disturb me again. It was just the wind. The leaves change colors and the wind blows them away. Of course. No leaf thief at all. Silly me. I'm going to sleep well tonight. The next morning... Bird! Someone has stolen the grass! <sighs> the end. So, did you figure out who the real leaf thief was before Squirrel it in? The author included a little bit of scientific information in her book. So let's take a closer look. The real leaf thief. As Squirrel learned, nobody is really stealing the leaves from the trees. Bird says, the only thief is the wind. But there is more to it than that. The wind can only blow the leaves away when the trees have started to shed their leaves. This happens in the autumn when the temperature drops making the change from summer to winter. Trees look very pretty in the autumn. Before the leaves fall, they turn from green to all sorts of different colors, red, gold, orange. When they turn brown, the leaves are ready to fall from the tree. Now, not all trees shed. Only deciduous trees lose their leaves. Coniferous trees, such as evergreens, keep their leaves all year round. You may have seen one of the two of these trees before. Here's an interesting fact. Autumn happens at different times across the world. In the Northern Hemisphere, that's where we are, autumn starts in September. That's us. But in the Southern Hemisphere, it starts in March. Autumn isn't just about falling leaves. Other changes happen too. The daily hours shorten and some birds and butterflies fly to warmer climates or migrate. Other animals like bats and bears sleep through the winter or hibernate. Squirrels, they don't hibernate, but they do sleep a lot more. They also store nuts and other food for the colder months ahead. In the story, Squirrel loves to spend fall days noticing the colorful leaves and making patterns. Red, gold, orange. Red, gold, orange. You can try making your own leaf pattern. Go outside and gather some leaves. Then you sort them. Choose what characteristic you want to sort your leaves. You can sort them by color, by putting all the red ones together and all the yellow ones together, by size, maybe some leaves are small and other ones are big, or by shape. Some of them might have a lot of points on them. Some of them are more round and don't have that many points. So I suggest that you start with color because that's the easiest. Now, Make your own pattern and try to be creative too. Here's an example of some patterns that you can make. This first pattern you could describe as green, orange, green, orange. What color leaf do you think will come next? The second pattern you could describe as red, red, yellow, red, Red, hmm, what color leaf do you think will come next? Try to make a more complex pattern, like this one. Green, green, yellow, red. Green, green, yellow, hmm, what color leaf do you think will come next? Now you could also describe these patterns 
by other characteristics. Like this one, if you described it by size of the leaf, you would might say skinny leaf, big leaf, skinny leaf, big leaf. Or you might describe this pattern by shape. But this leaf has three parts, three part leaf, three part leaf, and this leaf has one part, one part leaf. It's up to you to figure out how many different patterns that you can make and what kind of combinations you come up with. Try it out. You can also make some observations. Here's a question. Why do some trees drop their leaves sooner than others? Well, go ahead and look around your neighborhood and see which trees lose their leaves first. Do you notice any patterns or any explanations that you might be able to make on why those leaves have lost their um, why those trees have lost their leaves? Is it the same kind of a tree that is losing its leaves first? Or maybe it's where the leaves are located. Uh, are there things nearby like buildings that might be blocking the wind or the sun or the rainfall, which can lead to the changes of the leaves? Take a look around and see what you notice. And finally, Relax a little bit, enjoy fall, just like Squirrel is trying to do. You can color one of these adorable pictures of Squirrel, and I'll include the link in the description box below. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoy fall, and we'll see you next time. Bye.